welcome back. We are in conversation with Mr. Subrat Prashti. Basically, IPO stands for International Profound Order. That's a French word. Basically meaning IPO, which is basically a dog sport. It has three steps. Right? We have a protection, we have obedience, right? And we have tracking. So tracking, obedience and protection. That's what IPO is all about. And it's a, uh, you know, very challenging sport. And we are so confident that India is on the threshold because we have across the country, we have so many people who have working dogs, uh, you know, like, uh, or uh, shepherds. And uh, it is a must because as per FCI rules, every working dog before getting into an all breed ring must have done at least a BH qualification. That is the basic foundation like the CGC you have Canon Good Citizen program so a BH is something like that is basic qualification so then IPO is having like IPO 1 IPO 2 and IPO 3 because the exercises only get tougher in the IPO basically we are looking at uh, you know like uh, assessing the total uh, you know temperament anatomy working ability of a dog it's not only a question of looking at the beauty Let's say, for example, because I've had and bred champions out of German Shepherds, Captain Von Stephanis has basically thought of a dog which could trot for the entire day, herding sheep, right? So it should be, the anatomy should be so that it could keep trotting. Just imagine 2,500, 4,000 sheep and a dog herding all of them, right? So it should be something the anatomy should be something that it the dog will not tire right it should be easy so that's how they had developed the german shepherd dog right now today the german shepherd dog has also evolved into being a sniffer dog because they have an acute sense of smell right so now this acute sense of smell has been developed to an extent that they are able to smell drugs. So these are the abilities that are being tested. So IPO first is obedience. The dog has to be obedient. All of us understand that, right? How about the tracking ability, the ability to, to track, right? So that is where the scent work comes in. So the dog is first tested in obedience. It is tested in tracking and finally in protection now protection this is a basic instinct of a dog is to protect its master is to protect the you know any goods that have been assigned to it right like guard right and this dog is guarding that right so these are the three aspects major aspects of a canine and each of these aspects are broken up into exercises and they are marked and it's a huge challenging sport and uh, training to win at the highest level right is something really to be seen to be believed right and in India though we have started a lot of trainers have been practicing this but till now we haven't you know had the competitive level of IPO but hopefully within the next couple of years that should be coming in uh, also right and this IPO is a wonderful sport and I'm sure once this IPO comes in our, uh, we are looking at it of having clubs you know like let us uh, dividing India into four zones and maybe having zonal clubs and they will be fighting for top honours I think that will be bringing in footfalls and with footfalls will come obviously the sponsorships and with the sponsorship the sport is likely to grow and with this coming in it also provides, as I said earlier, a huge opportunity for the talented youngsters who can rise to the very top, right? Today, everybody, whether it is the security forces, whether it is the malls, their security, whether it is the armed forces, wherever, today security dogs are a must, right? But who is going to train them? So, as I said earlier, we must have certified courses and the government should spend a lot of time on deciding these certified courses which could become a vocational course and once you go through that 
and then your employability also increases. I know of a particular person, right? He started from a very middle class family. Today, after having seen him perform, I can guarantee that he will hold his own against the toughest competition in international standards, right? So, coming from a middle class family, earning an income of around, you know, four to five lakhs just from training dogs alone in a country like India, right? I feel that is where each one of us should be looking forward to. Anybody who is an animal trainer today should look forward. That should be the benchmark and we have the potential to reach there. Stay tuned for more on this with Mr. Subrat Prashti.